Welcome everyone and thank you so much for investing time to learn about Dynamics 365 Marketing and its integrated experience with the new Dynamics 365 Copilot. My name is Craig Kreskis. I am a cloud solution architect in Microsoft and I'm excited to bring you just a very short video on how to get your demo environment up and running by using some of these new capabilities that were just released. In this video, I will show you how to focus on building segments using natural language capabilities, and then we'll be able to create content as we're opening up and creating new digital assets, new emails. And I'll wrap up with just some resources for you to add to your education. So we'll begin by just looking at how do we build segments using natural language? Now, this has been in preview for a few months, uh, but just so you have a good framework for understanding what the challenges are as you're presenting to your audience, you know, understand that a lot of times it's not the easiest way for marketers to understand who their audiences are. It's time consuming and it does take a lot of time and resources. And what we're introducing here with Copilot inside of Dynamics 365 Marketing is a simple way for marketers to type in a description. They know who their audience is, their targeted audience with characteristics. And now with these capabilities, I simply type in what it is I want and Dynamics 365 Marketing provides those results for me. So let's take a look at that inside the product. So here I am inside of Dynamics 365 Marketing on the left side, I'll select on segments. Here you see I've got a few segments already created, but let's create a new one. And in this scenario, I'll name the segment decision makers. And I'm gonna keep it at the contact. I can either choose contact or lead as my target audience. And then this is where the magic happens. Under the description, a marketer, or as you're doing this demonstration, you'll type in a description of that segment. So in my scenario, I wrote contacts where the job title is owner. I want to go after all of these decision makers. I select create, and now on the right side, I'm presented with a result. You can see it says the job title is equal to owner. Now I can vote, you know, yes or no to help improve the results over time. And then I can use this in my segment creation. Now over on the left-hand side, you can see group one, my job title is owner. If you have uh, experience with this, you can notice from the dropdown where it will provide a, a preview or a results of my recent results, as well as suggestions for me to get started. Once I'm done, I'll save my work here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and build upon that and this is where I'm gonna say find contact. So I just typed in this, again, the query assist is still available. And I just typed in contacts where the job title is practice lead. Select the enter or the right arrow. And now I'll go ahead and use this. And notice, again, I could replace, I could add to the existing or I'm gonna add it as a new group. So you have some flexibility in the segment definitions. And of course I could come over and change that as I'm building out my segments. One more example, I can go ahead and type in here. Let's say for example, I'm part of my Contoso coffee company and I also wanna find contacts who prefer dark roast. I'll select enter and obviously the result is not correct. So I can provide results and then also share that feedback with reasons uh, why that didn't come successful. We'll cancel out of there. And again, that just gives you a really simple, easy example of how to create segments using this new AI capabilities. The second example is around email content creation. And this is an area I think all of us can certainly agree with or have some understanding. And that is the time it takes to start to generate uh, new content, right? A new email, a new message. In this case for marketers, the challenge around creating new emails and having that writer's block. And really when I when I start to explore this in my demonstration tenant, it is incredible how easy this solution, this co-pilot generates the ideas for me. And so let's go ahead and take a look at that in play. So back in 
Dynamics 365 Marketing, however you decide to navigate into your uh, emails, uh, whether it's the channels on the left or right here on the home page. I'll select a template. And now as I'm starting to build out, I've got my logo associated with it, I'm gonna to start to build out copy. And I'm not sure what I really wanna get across in my message. I know I've been doing this for a long time, uh, but I could use kind of a, a sidekick or somebody to help me get some ideas. So when you click on the content, you'll see on the right side where I can use content ideas. And then this will start to highlight for you and then type in at least three key points. So I've, my example, I have welcome to Contoso. We'll keep you informed of our products and offerings and then join our loyalty program. And I feel like we should add one more key point. So I'll add a key point. You could add up to five to start with. And in this case here, I also added try our espresso machines. Now that'll get me as far as I want, but notice there's also an additional area uh, this was just added the product recently, and that is the tone. So you can select from tone of voices, anywhere from something formal to in casual or engaged. And what this does, it will uh, impact or adjust the tone that you want, and that will bring you back certain results. So I'll select engaged, and I'll choose get ideas. This took me just a few moments and then I'm presented on the right panel with several different ideas. You can see the first idea says, greetings, coffee lover, and has some copy, and I could read through that. Notice the second one here says, greetings with the uh, name, the dynamic name, so it'll bring in the first name. So you could scroll down, you could give it a thumbs up, thumbs down. Again, you could see where there's dynamic content that was added I'll go ahead and add this to my draft and see now it inserts in the body of the message here. Now I can go ahead and select, move that up, and then I can start to do all the other rich editing that I could do inside of Dynamics 365 Marketing. So really that's just an easy way to get started, uh, both by creating segments and also by creating your email and digital assets. Some of the areas that I might point you to just to get started or to augment this training on docs.microsoft.com, you could learn a little bit more about Query Assist and the feature that I just showed you. There's also this email creation with the content ideas. And you can also drill into, there's another area inside of Dynamics 365 Marketing if you want to enable this, but Part of that content ideas can go even further by selecting or analyzing, I should say, the company's emails and getting a true sense of the tone and the language that they want to then use in presenting these content ideas. I want to thank you all so much for your time and your investment in learning about these capabilities. Again, we focused on building segments creating content, and then just a few resources for you to get started. Again, thank you so much for your time and investment. It's a really exciting time to be a Dynamics partner. If you're interested in learning more about some of the events that we are hosting in the US, I've provided you with the link down the bottom right corner. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you on a video real soon.